I was born and brought up in New York City. I went to the Columbia Medical School. And then I met a man by the name of Dr. Willem Kolf, and he was interested in the artificial heart, and so was I, and I followed him here. I became addicted to the atmosphere that exists here and to the physical beauty. My husband and I came from the University of California, San Francisco. As we came to Utah and started looking for our positions and going to other places as well, the collaboration here just really, really stood out. The opportunities were amazing. My wife and I moved here from Berkeley. I knew it would be a great place to live, great place to do work. We liked the proximity to uh, the hospital and the medical school for clinical collaborations. And it's a pretty famous genetics program. I was uh, overjoyed to get an interview. We had some other um, very competitive offers, but uh, it was exactly what we were looking for. The truth is I love the mountains. I just think that Salt Lake City is a beautiful place physically and it's as close to the mountains as any large academic medical centers in the country. I had known that the University of Utah was a good state university medical center, but I really appreciated over the years how really good an academic university medical center it is. Utah is the place that uh, collaborations can really work. This is not happening just by chance. We can bring together the clinical programs and the clinical world with the basic science world and make real the bench to bedside journey. Our project is a prototype of a video game based on childhood cancer and um, uses avatars that are um, metaphors for fighting disease. What we really wanted to try to do was work on this concept of empowerment. Children, particularly those who have been in the hospital for days and weeks at a time, can become very deconditioned emotionally as well as physically. From concept, from just idea, all the way to the clinical trials, it took us only two years. At the end of the day, we know we will be able to help a number of different children. The human genome's a big place. It's about three billion base pairs or so. What VAST is, is a very fast algorithm to search through um, an individual or a family's uh, genome sequences to try and discover disease-causing alleles in broken genes. Our lab focuses on breast cancer and how it spreads. This process of metastasis is the cause of death of most um, people who die from breast cancer. And we try to understand how those tumors spread to other parts of the body and interestingly how parts of our own healthy tissue can uh, facilitate that spread and try to find new therapies that block that process. Our device is basically a smart, optical, steerable, feeding tube. It's sort of a poor man's uh, endoscope to place these tubes, again, much more quickly, uh, much more effectively, and much more safely. Actic was useful because it was small, non-threatening, it was inexpensive, and it was easy. Patients, children, or adults could put it in their mouth and get an effect within a few minutes they could take it out when they got the effect. By doing clinical and translational and basic research, you can really impact the lives of many more patients. There's nothing quite like when you discover something that no one's ever known before. We've had a few cases like this where we discovered something that was reasonably important. And, you know, it's a pretty cool thing to be at that moment in time, you're the one person on earth that knows the answer to this question. Uh, my laboratory uh, focuses on trying to understand the fundamental causes of uh, metabolic diseases like diabetes and obesity. You know, we're really thinking that if we can understand how the body normally functions, that will then help us understand what goes wrong in the case of disease, and then hopefully we can figure out ways to change that. My 
I've been involved in starting a couple of companies, and I think that what academics try and do and what people in industry try and do are related but different. And if we can figure out ways to connect what we do really well with what they do really well, then if you do it right, then everybody wins. There's 124 medical schools in the United States, and 124 have visited us with the anticipation that they would take home our ideas and invent their own reference lab. To date, none of them have. We hired business people early on that served at the executive level, so there, there were seats at the table that were business seats and academic seats, and that merger helped us succeed. Discoveries that occur in research labs at the U are often brought over to ARUP and implemented in the form of new tests, tests that help patients every single day. Utah is collaborative. It's an amazing community. The possibilities feel like they're endless. It's a wonderful state to be in. You have everything, you have mountains, you have wildlife, you have culture, you have nice people. It's just all here for the taking.